And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has arrived. Somebody told me we had some fight fans in Auburn, Washington. Can I get a witness? I said, Auburn, Washington, are you ready? And without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to let the beatings begin. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Hannah Brobishkov. Coming now to the arena, a Warriors welcome for opponent Joanna Kobo. Ladies and gentlemen, your first bout of the evening, the ladies have arrived. And we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left, from Everett, Washington, Hannah Brobishko. <laughs> Yes. 
and her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right from Sandra Woolley Washington, Joanna Cobo.
Ladies and gentlemen, your first bout of the evening ends in a referee stoppage due to overwhelming barrage of strikes for your winner from Everett, Washington, Hannah Probishko. You like that, five fans? First bout of the evening, kicking it off with the ladies' bout. Did they put on a show? Did they put on a show for you? Next time you hear somebody use the phrase, hey, you fight like a girl, I want you to remember what the hell you just watched right then. Pretty spectacular show from the ladies. You guys had enough? Are you ready for some more? I don't know, man. Sound like some of y'all sleeping on me now. This is a sellout crowd of 1,600 plus. Are y'all ready for some more? That's what I like to hear right there. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Eddie Quinones. Welcome for his opponent, Kenneth
Ladies and gentlemen, your second bout of the evening. Your warriors have arrived and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Marysville, Washington, Eddie Quignone. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right from Tacoma, Washington, Kenneth Lawrence.
How about a round of applause for these two warriors, ladies and gentlemen? Second bout of the night goes to the scorecards where we have a unanimous decision. All three judges at ringside scoring about 30, 27 for your winner from Marysville, Washington, Eddie Quinones. into this stacked card. Fight fans, are you still with me out there? I said, fight fans, are you still with me out there? Moving on to your third bout of the evening. Introducing first, coming now to the arena, Lazaro Coro. Coming out of the arena, Warriors welcome for his opponent, Cameron Ladies and gentlemen, your third bout of the evening. Your warriors have arrived, and we are ready to begin introducing first. Hiding out of the blue corner to my left from Mount Lake Terrace, Washington, Lozano Cora. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right from Marysville, Washington, Cameron O'Neill.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. Judge number one at ringside scores about 29-28, Lazaro Corner. Judge number two at ringside scores about 29-28,
28, 28, a draw. Your objections are duly noted. And your third judge at ringside scores the bout 29, 28 for your winner in the blue corner from Mount Lake Terrace, Washington, Marciano Corp. Plus people, sell out crowd, active fight fans. I love what I do and I love y'all for being here. You guys ready for some more here in the cage? Coming first to the arena, please welcome Cole Hollenberg. Coming now to the arena, all oh, warriors, welcome for his opponent, Bruno Castro. have arrived and we are ready to begin introducing first fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Washington Cole Hollenberg and his opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner to my right from Yakima Washington Bruno Castro
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards for a unanimous decision. All three judges at ringside score the bout 30-27 for your winner, Cole Hollenberg. made some big promises. Have we delivered for you so far? Are y'all still out there with me, ready for a little more action here in the cage? Coming first to the arena, please welcome Daniel Edwards. Glad you weren't looking at me like that. I was scared for a second. All right, all right. we're good though, right? Okay, cool. Fight fans, the ladies have arrived and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Everett, Washington, Daniel Edwards. And her opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right from Cedro Woolley, Washington, Tatum Rocchio.
action in your very first round of action. Your winner by rear naked choke submission from Everett Washington, Daniel Edwards. How about it, fight fans? Y'all had enough? Are you ready for a little more? Let me reiterate, this is a sellout crowd of 1,600 plus people here at the Muckleshoot Casino event set. Now, bearing that in mind, let me ask you again, are you guys ready for some more? That's a little more like it. Now I'm convinced. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Ike O'Cauley. Welcome for his opponent, Elijah Ellison. Gentlemen, fight fans, it's one of those things I like to call a teachable moment. Y'all might have heard of a little thing called the Cascadian Subduction Zone. Y'all live right on top of it. All I'm saying is that we are in an earthquake-prone region, and this is about to be measured on the Richter scale. The heavyweights have arrived. 
and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Spokane, Washington, Ike O'Cauley. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right, from Anunco, Washington, Elijah Ellis.
Ladies to the center of the ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, in the heavyweight division, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards for your winner by unanimous decision from Spokane, Washington, Ike O'Cauley. We got plenty more coming your way. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Wazin Mohammed.
Street Art Warriors. Welcome for his opponent, Ethan Drake. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, your warriors have arrived and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Linwood, Washington, Wazin Mohammed. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right from Burlington, Washington, Ethan Drake.
Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by referee stoppage due to strikes from Linwood, Washington, was he? Oh, We still having a good time out there, fight fans! Coming first to the arena, please welcome Rose Hujinaka! Coming now to the arena, Warriors, welcome for our opponent, Kayla I give a damn what y'all say. Fight women are hot. Sorry. I said what I said. The ladies have arrived and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Marysville, Washington, Rose Fujinaka. And her opponent across the cage. Fighting out of the red corner to my right from Inunco, Washington, Kayla Wee. Oh, how about I'm playing?
Ladies to the center of the ring, please. Ladies to the center of the ring. After three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards with the judges at ringside. Score the bout 29 28, 29 28, and 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Hamidum Claw Washington, Kayla. Wee! Coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. Don't sleep on me now. Let me hear some noise out there, fight fans. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Curtis Bolton. Coming down to the arena, Warriors welcome for his opponent, Tony Marshall. Across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right from Nespola, Washington, Tony Marshall.
All right, all right. Just to clear up a little confusion, and just to grant you ladies and gentlemen a little bit of perspective. Mixed martial arts has the absolute best safety record of any combative sport. I should also point out that these two gentlemen are amateurs and they are fighting for free. So for all of you who are a little less than enthusiastic about how this thing got brought to an end, the line to bring your ass in here and bleed for free starts right freaking here. The fight is ruled a no contest due to accidental headbutt in the first round. Now, make a little bit of noise if you'd like to see these guys put it on the line for you together again. Now, if you folks will be so kind as to excuse us while we take care of a little bit of blood detail, we'll be right back to you in a couple of minutes. Make some noise for these warriors. You guys ready for a little more action here in the cage? Let me hear you make some noise out there. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Josh Coming down to the arena, Warriors, welcome for his opponent, Jonathan Rudo. Ladies and gentlemen, your warriors have arrived and we are ready to begin introducing first, hiding out of the blue corner to my left from King Harbor, Washington, Josh Cruz. 
and his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right, from Sunnyside, Washington, Jonathan Rudo.
In your second round of action, your winner by referee stoppage due to strikes from Gig Harbor, Washington, Josh Cruz. It is an honor and a privilege to introduce a gentleman who really needs no introduction for anybody who hasn't been living in a cave on a remote planet for the last 10 years. He has two world champions under his belt, multiple Ultimate Fighter season winners. He is the head of Sick Jitsu and Excite Fight Productions. He has put more fighters from the Pacific Northwest on the big show and done more to stake our claim in the nationwide MMA scene than any other human being on the planet. I have admired his work for a distance for a long, long time. And several years back, it became my honor and privilege to be able to work with the man and work for the man. My boss, my friend, promoter extraordinaire, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Rick Little. Thank you. There's a few Win Wimbledon claps I heard, just a couple. Thank you. Um, I'll tell you what, we keep on raising the bar here. Again, I can't thank you guys enough. It takes two out here. I'm just a facilitator. We need good fighters. We have that. We need good fans. We have that. Thank you very much, you guys. Like I said, Muckle Shoots agreed to do four fights a year. They're really getting behind MMA, and this crowd is unbelievable. We just keep raising the bar. We have another sold out crowd. The more you support this, the more these fighters get paid, everybody wins. Again, fans, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you for coming out here. I look at all these faces, I always make my rounds and, and walk around here, and I love it that every single one of you knows what kind of nuts it takes to get in here. I can just tell you appreciate every single guy, win or lose. Guys winning, guys getting their ass kicked, you treat them equally, it's unbelievable. I feel the same way. I'm telling you, everybody working together, we're all having a great night. The way you treat the fighters out here, the way Muckleshoot treats the fighters, even the losers come out of here with a smile. I thank you very much, again. But let's get to some business. Let's get to some business. The Pacific Northwest is a hotbed for MMA, and again, I spent 10 years developing Northern Quest Casino, Spokane, Washington, and we ended up with three Ultimate Fighter winners, a world champion, and I can honestly say, 10 years of that in just a year here in Muckleshoot, we've passed up Spokane, and uh, you guys are really making this show bigger. So I'm gonna make you a promise. I'm gonna make you a promise. I don't like doing it. We will have some stars that you are cheering in this cage, you will be watching on TV on pay-per-view. I will promise you that. We'll take them here. We're gonna take them here, we're gonna cheer them on, and we're gonna kiss them goodbye, even though we like watching them here. We're gonna watch them make some money on pay-per-view. We're gonna all watch them with their friends and family on our couches at home on pay-per-view. Uh, only you guys and us, Muckleshoot, can make that happen. I appreciate you guys again. Thank you very much. Our next show, get on it right away where the good seats went away early. Our next show is July 7th. That's the 4th of July weekend. 
Fourth of July is on a Tuesday. We're right after that. July 7th, mark your calendars. Tickets will go on sale in two weeks. And again, I'd like to thank my great staff, Kevin Nance right here, Eddie Grant, best matchmaker in the business. These match matches are unbelievable. We have, I've been around the block, we have the best referee in the business. No Herb Dean BS. We got the best referee in the business. He takes care of our fighters, Anthony Hamlet. Ring girls are unbelievable. Best ring girls I have dealt with. This show has stepped it up. Brandy Belmont, wherever you are, unbelievable. And again, George Haldeman, that's the boss right there. You, go, you got a problem, you tell him, not me, but I bet you don't. You guys are getting your money's worth. And now you start, are you ready for the main card? The main pro fights? I hope you are, we're getting started right now. We are moving on into the professional ranks and we still have plenty of action in store for you tonight. If you are ready for some more carnage here in the cage, let me hear you make some noise, Auburn, Washington. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Marco Garcia. to the arena of warriors welcome for his opponent carlos martinez <laughs> and gentlemen, your first bout of the pro card, La Raza in the Casa. Your warriors have arrived and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Olympia, Washington, Marco Garcia. 
and his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right, from Inumco, Washington, Carlos Martinez. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen,
Ladies and gentlemen, with only 35 seconds left in the second round of action, your winner by rear naked choke submission from Inunco, Washington, Carlos Martinez. Gentlemen, pretty good start to the pro card, yeah? We got more on the way for you as we roll forward. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Anthony Zender. out of the arena warriors welcome for his opponent christian strong have arrived and we are ready to begin introducing first fighting out of the blue corner to my left from olympia washington anthony zender and his opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner to my right from everett washington christian straw
Ladies and gentlemen, your very first round of action, your winner by referee stoppage due to relentless barrage of strikes from Everett Washington, Christian Stroh. How we doing out there, fight fans? You still with me tonight? How you feel about the pro card so far? You loving it? We got some more for you if you're ready, but I need some love out there, people. Show me where the fire's at. Let me hear you make some noise. That's a little more like it, boys and girls. Coming now to the arena, please welcome Brendan Slide. I used to be quiet with timid. They used to catch me skip the courses. Now they snap a nigga portrait. Hard head, but never forced it. I got a pen that it shine like it's supposed to. The way I deliver, they post it. My neck got a compass to know where we going. It sound like I'm stepping through portals. I'm off of that poison, the devil be call it, but I just ignore it for it. The task force told me, God. Okay, okay, yeah, you asked for it. Wait, the task force told me, hey, okay, okay, yeah, you asked for it. Wait, the task force told me, go up. Look. The way that I ball, I should've played for the Big Ten When I touch stage, but they packed in Got a pretty thing to make a back bend Let me see it all through the glass lens Had some people try to snake if I see you I'm teed up, I greet you with brass hands Skate off fast, put a buck on the dash And somewhere fast, with my feet up Wait, hold up the label, just call me the tapping They just cut the check, so I'm up in the slip I take for J to the neck, then I stretch To start my day, I hit the cash dance Niggas is different now, I was down then But that's all in the past tense So I can't stop shit till I'm top ten And I'm not ten, I'm so in love with the process Not all in the day, but a Took him some time to build wrong. I just copped the crib, never home. No, I can't keep a charge on the phone. So she thinks she in love with a ghost. When I'm home, I make sure that she get what she needs so she know what I'm capable of. Know my rhythm can spar with the pros. They pay me to hear what I'm on. They ask what I'm on. I'm doing great, I suppose. Cause I get to do what I want. It's legit, but it sound like it's straight from the stove. They play my tape in the field and they treat me like I'm making plays. And coming now to the arena, Warriors welcome for his opponent, Byron Hernandez. Gentlemen, your warriors have arrived and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Spokane, Washington, Brandon Sly. Hey. 
and his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right, from Auburn, Washington, Byron Hernando.
Fighters to center the ring, please. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with only 25 seconds left in your second round of action, your winner by referee stoppage due to barrage of strikes from Auburn, Washington, Byron Hernando. Fight fans, believe it or not, we actually got two bouts left. Are y'all ready for your co-main event of the evening? Coming first to the arena, please welcome Charles Spade.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, our Warriors welcome for his opponent, Joe Hirode! Gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the evening. The belt is on the line. Your warriors have arrived and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left from Chicago, Illinois, Charon Spain. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner to my right, from Enumco, Washington, Joe Hirohe. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, in your co-main event of the evening, your winner by head and arm side choke submission from Inomka, Washington, Joe Hirani. So I eat, and I don't know the feet. I only know the heat. I only know the grind. I only know the sweet. Yo, I miss sweat. I only know the best. That's up on my chest. I only know the All best. right, five fans. Do you have anything left in the tank? Let me hear you make some noise out there, people. Your final bout of the evening, your headline main event. One more time, if you got some fire left in your soul, let me hear you out there. Don't forget, folks, we will be back here on the 7th of July. Three days after Independence Day, we will be bringing the carnage to you again right here in the cage, right here at Muckleshoot Casino Event Center. Now then, sound of applause. How many of y'all here tonight, based on what you have seen, are going to be here in July when we come back? What? We love to deliver for y'all, man. We appreciate y'all being here. And we are ready to move on to your main event of the evening. Coming first to the arena, please welcome Andrew Kyle. For his opponent, Shane White Eagle.
of them, baby. Get Fight fans, the moment has arrived. This is your main event of the evening. Sound of applause, sound of applause. How many of you out there want to see your headline bout go to the scorecards? Sound of applause. How many of you wrestlers and grapplers out there would like to see your headline bow end in a nasty submission? Now here's where the rubber meets the road. Fight fans, how many of you out there want to see this main event end in a big brutal knockout? The mob has spoken, your warriors have arrived, and we are ready to begin. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left, from Moses Lake, Washington, Andrew Carr. And his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner to my right, representing the Muckleshoot Tribe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Shane White Eagle.
First of all, first of all, that right there was a main event for the freaking ages. Give it up for these warriors. I sat over there speechless, and y'all know that never happens. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by a 100% act of God standing guillotine in the third round of action, representing the Muckle Shoot tribe, Shane White Eagle. All right, bro, hey, hey, whoa. Bro, this is, no, this is my microphone, bro. This is my microphone. Don't get it twisted, son. Don't get it twisted. All right, hey, don't get it twisted. All right, I know you're here to call the man out. I know you're here to call the man out. But we're gonna hold up. We're gonna give him the first word. Since he just put it on the line, we're gonna give him the first word. All right? Ladies and gentlemen, Shane White Eagle, your winner. You jumped up in here, and that fellow was looking a bit like a whale, but you found out real quick that's a great white shark. Drug your ass into some deep water and damn near drowned you, son. But you held up and you survived. Couldn't none of y'all seen this. I'm just wondering what your thoughts were when you were out there in that deep water. I've been sick all day, had diarrhea. It is what it is, got the job done. Copy that. This gentleman right here, fellow by the name of Eric Godfrey, apparently would like a word with you because he sees what you're holding and he thinks he wants some of that smoke. I'm gonna give him a word with you here. Hey, we were supposed to do this five years ago. I don't know if you remember, he pulled out, but how about we fight in July for the title? What do you think? Let's go, baby. Let's go. I don't even pull out of my old lady, man. I'm pulling out of shit. All right, so y'all heard what's about to shape up here. July the 7th, if you're gonna be ready, July the 7th, we will be back. That was a, oh, that was a call out, son. That was a nasty little call out. We will be back July the 7th, three days after Independence Day, and we get to watch these two go at it. And uh, judging from the looks of things, there ain't no love lost in here. I ain't even in this damn weight class, and I don't want none of that smoke. I'm going to get the hell up out of here. But y'all come back and see us July the 7th. Tickets go on sale in two weeks. If I can get these guys out of here without a fist fight, we're going to take it on home. Thanks for coming out. Have a safe trip home. Good night.